look at their version of the iPhone 11. Well, anyways, the people that make the clones. So yeah, this is an interesting one. I've been seeing this in the news for quite some time. Been very excited to try it out. I know this little guy's excited. Check out the iPhone 11. We've got two different colors and this is their latest version with the triple lens setup. In a way, it'll be like the first working version of the iPhone 11 ever. And I'm genuinely curious to see their take on it. What did the, what did the finishes look like? What did the lenses look like? What's it running? What do the boxes look like? What did they mimic? And last we heard from them, the Goofone 10s Max. This is the same company that's been making iPhone clones for what, 10, 12, 13 years already? I mean, all the way back to the original one over here, the first iPhone clone. So they've come a long way. And let's check out that packaging. Oh, so they decided to mimic the iPhone 10s Max. But over here it does say, the iPhone 11 Gold, 256 gigabytes, very cool. And the Space Gray variant. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't actually try and put some unique wallpapers, but I get it. It's riskier for them. More people recognize this as an iPhone XS. And before I even get into this, I, I wanna ask a question. Who actually buys these? T to use, to rip off? Like, what are these made for nowadays? I genuinely do not know. They keep releasing them every single year. Why? People like me to review them on camera. Pretty easy to tell that it's not OEM. Text is different, it's grayer. It does say the same things though. Over here, all the barcodes look different. So no one's getting fooled by this, there's no way. It is embossed on the front, but you can tell the packaging is not the highest of quality. Although the text does look really good. Nice and shiny. Okay, well, let's dig in. And here we go. So right away you can tell the cards are a little different. The presentation is different here. And what do we got? Does this one reference air power? Oh, they actually reference air power on the clone version too. That's so funny. Even Apple removed that from theirs. And we've got a SIM card tool. Another one to add to the collection. Okay, and here it is. Ooh, it's got a very heavy feeling to it. And ooh, there it is. Oh my goodness. That looks nothing like what it's supposed to look like. It is square. I think that's the only similarity here. The flash unit is way too close to the top. The lenses themselves are, oh my goodness, they look dinky. That does not look right in any sense. So I think these two down here are fake. That one is the only one that's actually real. But the color looks good. Like it looks really close to the real deal. Actually very close. I'm very surprised. The front looks good. And let's go ahead and power it on. On the bottom, the antenna bands are actually mimicking that of the 10s now, so the speaker setup is better. The last clone I tested, I don't know how long ago, was, was not this good. And the luster, just the shine, they got that right. Positioning-wise, everything is correct. Although the antenna bands look a little strange. Correct boot up sequence. I mean, it feels just, just by weight alone, I would not be able to tell. They made this thing very, very hefty. And I'm very curious to see what it's running. Do they make a mock version of iOS 13? And accessibility is turned on right away, assistive touch. Is there a touch to wake feature? In a space gray version, I just wanna see how close they got on this one. Oh, wow. This one looks better in my opinion. Blends this in better. So that lens is not what it's gonna be like. On, on the official version, it's gonna be a very slight run up and it'll be a larger lens with individual lenses much larger. And those are going to protrude outside of the glass. So what they got wrong here is that this is not body colored. This piece of glass is gonna rise up and be body colored in here. Um, on this one, it's not. That's a difference that we know of already. And the iPhone text down here looks kind of cheap, not like the real deal. Yeah, it's a little wonky looking. That's the easiest thing to get right, but they never do. And with no tap to wake, I have to physically press the button. Ugh. Okay, already fully set up for you. So someone down there decided to save you the trouble and let's turn this accessibility off. It looks old. Oh, no back swipe. Instant deal breaker. Oh my goodness, that's like what makes iPhone the iPhone is the back swipe, but they removed it and iOS 12.0. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't even put the effort in to make it run iOS 13, a mock version at least, and it's the first version. Let's see uh, if we can get some Wi-Fi going and software update to iOS 13, because I'm not liking this. And about that chin area, so yeah, it's a bit chunky, but considering the, that the quality elsewhere is pretty decent, I'm willing to overlook it, even though that's what you're gonna be looking at 99% of the time. So they've, they've certainly come a long way. iPhone clones in 12 years, 
before when you had a stylus and it was nothing like the original. Now for some people you could get fooled, you know? And there's no uh, new rocker switch over here. The volume rocker remains the same. It does work at least. Let's see if there's a software update going here. I'm very disappointed. Attention to detail is, is not that good here. Basically iOS 12, oh, the control center is a whole separate page that slides down. Is there a 3D touch? I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't even bother with that. Maybe on the home screen here. Oh, okay. So a long press or haptic touch is 3D touch on these guys. Otherwise, yeah, it looks just like an iPhone in the settings and the app switcher. I guess it does work. The switching between apps like this does not work though. So on the surface level, before you start using the software, it might get away with it. But once you actually get into it, uh, not at all. Question, if this was the lens, would it be fine? This one is still, I'd say about two times larger than the iPhone XS Max. The official one is going to be even larger, but even so, it doesn't look too bad. Like seeing it in, in real life, it's not bad at all. You can get used to this. Most people won't even notice after a few, few days, few weeks with it. For so much complaining, I think it's unsubstantiated. It doesn't look like anyone tried that hard. I like the physical. The physical side of it looks good, but the software is just not there. And there it is. So the Geekbench score on iPhone clones, I'd say hasn't changed in over five years. They use the same processor every single time. Android 6.0, so that's a downgrade. Sometimes they come with Android 8 and quad core 1.3 gigahertz. That's uh, one tenth the score of the iPhone XS Max. Apple XS Max 11, in case you were wondering what the new iPhone would be called. Anyways, next up, let's go ahead and take a look at that camera. So we now have a triple lens camera, one of those being an ultra wide lens, 120 degrees field of view, according to the leaks. And let's go ahead and see this future. I am so ready. One of my favorite features from the Galaxy S10. Let's check it out. And for some reason, like not just here in the camera, but everywhere, it's as if I'm using iOS 10, like a really, really old version of iOS. The buttons, everything, it's just bad. Man, oh, look at this. The music app is from years ago. So there is a portrait mode and with just one depth effect, but it doesn't work at any distance. Okay, um, yeah. I don't know. I'm not liking this in the least. So let's go outside and test out what they say is a 13 megapixel camera. Realistically is likely a eight megapixel, five to eight megapixel. All right, so the camera app actually looks really good. It's in full screen. It's deceiving on here. And the zoom function is straight in the middle, in the middle of your content, nice. I swear, whoever made this software like did not care. They slapped it on from a year old device. But man, I am ready for the camera quality that'll come with the inevitable real triple lens camera. Over here, I think very clearly it is fake, these two bottom ones. So from what I saw online, you're stuck with an eight megapixel shooter. As for the front facing camera, we have a two megapixel shooter. Terrible. Other dimensional. Don't buy this expecting to be taking anything notable with it. It has a camera. It's terrible, but it's there. So. The world isn't ready yet for the triple lens camera. I'll be sharing that with you guys once it's out. We have two months to go. As having seen this design for months and rendering it and all, you know, I really hope that it looks a little bit better than this. But even so, if they did mimic the iPhone XS style of the lens, I think it would work pretty well. Like I like it. I would definitely rock it and will be here in a matter of months. I'm very disappointed that they took so much time to make the hardware good on this clone, but the software doesn't match at all. Hey. It was nice to at least see it and kind of get a, an early look at the iPhone 11. Wireless charging. So on the deceased air power, regular one works. It's supposed to have it. I'm not getting that to activate. So wireless charging is not working for me. And when it's on the pad, it's activating a bunch of apps. It's, that's very strange. The phantom wireless charge, the phantom touch of air power. <laughs> Okay, and here I was thinking I'd be charging my AirPods 2 on the back of my iPhone 11. Not so, not yet anyways. The last thing I wanted to show you is Face ID. So they have their own version of it. Let's add my face. It looks nothing like the interface. And I guess you just stare at it. You don't even tilt your head. Okay, my face has been registered and it works. Cool, let's try the cameraman's face. Yeah, so it works for him too. <laughs> How nice. Share your face ID with strangers. All right, last thing is uh, let's take a look inside. 
and hopefully not crack it because this seems like real glass. Oh, that came out ridiculously easy. Do not do this to your iPhone clone without turning it off, but I'm sure it doesn't even matter. So that plastic surround just broke off. It didn't want to come out, okay. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, the LCD was carved around the notch. It's genuinely a real, real notch. <laughs> and a very tiny two megapixel shooter over here. And you can tell that all of this over here is heavy metal to give it the weight. Without this, it would have felt very, very cheap. Now, oh, I forgot to mention, this does have dual SIM. So let's take a look at that. Oh, wow. They actually copied Apple's dual SIM layout. The SIM card tray has the same stack dual SIM. Otherwise, it's really unremarkable. Nothing really to report here. Yeah. Um, oh, other than the fact that it opens differently. Wow, actually, I just realized this is the first iPhone clone that actually opens the same way the iPhone does. Most of them I open from the back. So there it is, guys, the iPhone 11 clone. The real one should be coming out here very soon. But would I recommend this? I would say absolutely not. <laughs> Unless you're trying to just get a feel for the iPhone 11 beforehand, this is not worth your time or your $100. I was unimpressed. The software, if 